desire that gets you in And it's recognizing when You are ready to let go of everything more precious than Hi, I'm Jeff Barkman and I talk about things. Um, today, I'm going to share with you um, what the Lord has been speaking to me over the course of the last week or so. Um, and that is, here's what he's saying. He's saying, don't forget the joy of the Lord. Um, you know, it wasn't easy for me to begin to encounter the joy of the Lord. Um, it became easy. Uh, but it's, it's just as easy uh, to forget about actually interacting with the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord. Um, and what happens when you forget to interact with the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord is you become vulnerable to attack, man. You become vulnerable to like the weirdest, stupidest things that if you just interacted with the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord, you wouldn't, it wouldn't have any power or any effect on you um <laughs> yeah so let's quickly talk about the role of the joy of the lord um i'm sure that everyone is aware of the really obscure scripture that says the joy of the lord is our strength what's interesting is actually i i believe oh man it's it's in one of the minor prophets it was when they were rebuilding the um the walls of Jerusalem. Um, man, why can't I remember who it is? There's probably a scripture on the bottom of the screen that tells you exactly what I'm referencing. Anyway, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Um, that means that if we don't have the tangible substance, the authentic joy of the Lord in us right now, we're lacking strength. When I saw people interacting with the joy of the Lord, I thought they looked so stupid and I had this core value at the time that I must look cool at all times. Um, and that actually was standing in the way of me being in more intimate with the Lord. And my aversion to the joy of the Lord actually was holding the Lord back, keeping the Lord at arm's length. What a silly way to live. I, it's, it's, I know so many stories, including my own, where the, the Lord poured his joy out upon these people and myself. Um, and the reason was to strengthen our hearts for the inner healing that was coming. Our hearts weren't strong enough to, to, to weather the encounters that we needed to get healed. Um, and so instead of just going straight there, we spent some time ingesting the joy of the Lord and it made our hearts strong enough to to be able to have those inner healing encounters um, and and when we neglect the joy of the Lord in our lives we become vulnerable to attack we become vulnerable to um, like believing lies um, we become vulnerable to uh like faithlessness starting to complain about like the way the lord is leading us complaining about our season you know worrying that like the coronavirus is gonna somehow thwart our destinies <laughs> let's just laugh at that ridiculous nonsense listen to me the coronavirus cannot throw thwart your destiny the coronavirus being quarantined for a little while is not going to actually like even make any part of the momentum of your life revert. In fact, this season is an invitation to step into more and more and more. And so I just want to invite you to interact with the joy of the Lord. I mean, if you think about like all of the ways that Jesus went through um, his ministry, like even when he was like casting demons out of people, it just was never a battle. It was never a battle. It reminds me of this one trip that I, I was in Mexico and my buddy Jim and I, we did, we did this booth, um, called a, we did a joy booth where we were literally just releasing the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord to people. Um, and we would watch 
most of them couldn't actually receive the joy of the Lord at first. And we would watch and Holy Spirit would tell us prophetically what was standing in the way for this person receiving joy. Um, and then we would just use these very simple inner healing tools like, oh, well, let's forgive your dad or whatever, stuff like that. Um, and we would, we would help them break agreement with that thing that was blocking them from experiencing the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord. Um, and then we would administer more of the joy of the Lord and they would experience it without fail. And what we realized that night was that those people that we did that with and for, they were getting delivered of stuff that they had been subject to for years. The Gozo booth was a deliverance booth and we were casting devils out of people with the joy of the Lord. So this is why I'm saying the joy of the Lord in our personal lives as a lifestyle is so necessary and so good and so enjoyable that I think we should just have a drink right now. Here, repeat after me. Put your hands like this. Get in receive mode because the Lord loves to give his joy to us. He doesn't withhold himself. He doesn't withhold his joy. It's available to us right now. And it's very good to drink. You might think that that's a ridiculous thing to say. Well, here we are, spiritual beings able to encounter and experience spiritual things. I'm not pretending. I'm going to literally look like I'm pretending here in a second. But I'll tell you right now that if you attach your faith to what's about to happen, I guarantee you're about to experience the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's a song, man. It's not a battle. You have to let your soul delight itself in the fatness. You have to, you can't, you can't try. <laughs> You have to not try. You have to let go. You have to let yourself laugh. Like like Jesus said that that only children can enter the kingdom of God. What does that even mean? It means that children, man, children laugh at what's funny. You might even be watching this video thinking, yo, that guy's mustache is starting to look really, really funny. Well, I invite you to begin laughing at my mustache. Let me tell you, 98% of the time that I have been overserved with the joy of the Lord, it began because I let myself laugh at my ginger friend who has the most ridiculous laugh you've ever heard in your life. I would laugh at his laugh and that would get things going. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get you to hold a cup in front of you and I'm going to by faith pour the liquid tangible substance of the joy of the Lord into your cup and we're going to drink it together. You ready? Hold your cup. I know this is weird, but I promise we're not pretending. Okay, now cheers me. Cheers, there you go. Now have a drink. <sighs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, so I release the tangible substance of the joy of the Lord to every single person that sees this video right now in Jesus' name. I bless you. What's happened to my computer? I don't even know. Anyway, I bless you to experience the joy of the Lord in your life and to not forget that the joy of the Lord is our strength, man. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. There's a subscribe bubble here now, I think. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bless you. <laughs>